I'm Angel. Thanks for stopping by for a quick stretching and strengthening session with me. I'm in the head hut here, my uh, favorite one-of-a-kind hand-built space that I built myself. If you're interested, you can check out my videos about that or let me know. I actually even wrote a book about it. You can probably find a link in the description. I want to run through a few of my favorite poses that um, aren't that you don't see in all the routines and that are easy to incorporate um, in your everyday doings, goings on. One of them is what I'm doing right now, which is a squat. So uh, when you're talking to somebody, when you're looking at something, I know it's, it feels it feels a little weird if you're not used to it, and maybe it looks a little strange. Um, but it's really good for the body, especially if you practice like pulling up in the pelvic floor while you're in the squat, pushing the heels down. I like to play with pushing the knees out and pulling the chest forward by uh, anchoring my elbows onto my knees. It's just a good playful, you can kind of stretch the torso like this. Just a really good playful underappreciated pose. Ooh, that's a good it's a good shoulder stretch there. I'm using my knees to press against with my elbows and getting a real nice stretch through the shoulders. Um, another one is on the knees, cat and cow stretch. This one you do see in a lot of stretching, uh, you know arrangements, stretching examples, what am I trying to say? Sites that show, routines, that's the word I was looking for. Um, and I do include it in some of my routines as well. But um, it's one of those that if you did every day, it would be nothing but good for you. And that is this cat, as it's called, stretch, which is just rounding the spine, really pushing up with the hands, tucking the tailbone under, rounding the spine, just really pushing through the shoulders. You do that a couple times a day, like three times or more a day, and you'd probably see a lot of benefit. And often paired with that, although not necessarily uh, to do, is what's often called the cow. Just makes a nice counter stretch to that cat stretch, and that is as thusly tipping the tailbone toward the back of the head, arcing, arching or arcing the back, We're lifting the chest, Still, in both cases, you're lifting the chest, but this time you're lifting the chest um, with the belly dropped and the tailbone tipped toward the back of the head and the eyes up. And then again, cat is tucking the tailbone, pulling up and back in the abdomen and the pelvic floor, rounding the spine, tucking the chin and pushing up through the shoulders and through the knees. You can play around with Pushing back a little bit, pushing a little bit more with the legs or the hands, kind of feel that difference. And then again, the other way, cow, which you can also stick out the tongue if you want to uh, sound and look funny and also get a nice stretch for the tongue. <laughs> uh, lifting the chest, tipping the tailbone toward the back of the head. You can try that with toes tucked under or usually it's with toes relaxed. And then again, cat, arching the back, pushing through the shoulders. Sometimes you can stop in the middle for what's called a tabletop position, which is as flat as possible, and you're really feeling for energy going out the top of the head and out the tailbone. And then shifting that into a cow, getting a little cramp in the bottom of my feet, so I'm going to rotate those. And... And then, again, cat. So that's another a pair of favorite positions. Um, another favorite position, while well, I'm thinking of it and just running through them, this can be done seated on a chair or seated on the ground. I do encourage you to get on the ground or the floor more often, but that's just a nice gentle twist using uh, opposite hand to opposite knee. So in this case, right hand to left knee and putting this left hand in close to the body, although you could anchor that hand on something else. I'm using the floor behind me and just getting a nice twist through the whole spine. I like to think of it as giving all my organs a nice hug, a nice ringing out, and can include the eyes, really stretch 
the whole spine, the torso, the neck, the body, the face a little bit. Shake that out. Let's go the other way. Left hand to right knee, right hand in close to the body and twisting through the pelvis, through the torso, with the eyes on the neck. Really getting a nice stretch. We're using the hands for some torque there. Kind of push into that and coming back to center. S shake that out again. Whoo! Shake that out. I think a deep breath and a healthy sigh is an under another underappreciated uh, stance. I'm tempted to get into some more complex poses, but I'm gonna leave that right there. I just wanted to give you a couple quick examples. Here's one more, which you, if you've watched me at all, you've probably seen me do, but I like to just, just balance on the sits bones. Let's see if I can come back here a little more. So you can see I'm just rocking back and forth and balancing a little bit on the sits bones. That's a great, can make it a great stretch for the back rounding the spine. You can even do spinal rolls. Um, you can rock back and forth and give your low back a nice massage. And then also just working the abdomens. I like to think of this as a passive way to sit. If I'm watching a screen or um, sitting around with friends and having a conversation, you can kind of sit like this without being too conspicuous and do a little bit of internal ab work can add some breath, can add some flexing and relaxing, some gentle rocking, all sorts of variations on that pose. So uh, there you go. If you wanna add any requests or suggestions or share your favorite pose, put that in the comment section. I sure do appreciate your interaction. I love to have dialogues about practical healing, about healthy living, about ways that we can all enjoy living lives that we love. That's my main mission here. As always, you can find ways of supporting me and connecting with me in the description. I hope you give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and until next time, I wish you lightheartedness, love, peaceful conflict resolution, amazing adventures. Don't forget to play every day. Love yourself because you are worth it. Peace.